be probably within the last 18 to 90 feet coming up this uh, side of this fell that you've just gone from, you know, couldn't hear you do what you've gone absolutely right off the end of the scale, mate. So, uh, it's a bit of an enigma, this digital, but I think when it's, once it takes off, it's going to be, you know, it's potentially going to be really popular, mate, for you. Yeah, Roger Lee, well, yeah, I mean, I notice now on D-Star, on the digital side, that uh, more and more are coming on. And not just the uh, M6s or M3s, but the G4s and the G0s and 6s and 7s. And I've heard them say, oh, I'm not going on to D-Star, that's not real radio. Now, hang on here a minute, I'm using the radio. Okay, I'm getting assistance with uh, with the internet, but hang on. When you're on HF, if there's no propagation, you're going nowhere, so then you go stick a one kilowatt linear on. So what the hell is the difference? You're still getting help. That's the way I see it, Lee, over. Yeah, like six traffic, a proper return. It, you know, radio is the different people, different things, you know, it's, it's whatever you enjoy. I mean, I've um, been past my test maybe coming up a year, and Basically, it was just that much of an eye opening. You know, it was like a, a kid in a candy shop. There's that many modes and different, you know, um, different aspects of the hobby. It's it's kind of overwhelming. Um, but you know, none of my friends or anything like that are into it. I do it with a couple of guys that are working in radio club, and the guys are actually from Penrith. So it's not even like you know I can I can give it up that way. So you know, I'm just plugging my way through, finding different bits and pieces, and you know, I've, I like my FBRS and my VHF, but. Um, I've got the big 897 radio, the 817 radio, and I've, I've done very, very little uh, near Jeff, mate, back to you. Yeah, Roger Lee, well, we've all been there. <laughs> I've had the 350, I've had everything. Uh, I've got the 9, the one, I've got the 9100. I think we've, we've all been there, done it, got the T-shirt. I think it's surprised that it's like a big candy shop, isn't it? Kid with a new toy. Hell, I'm like that every day, Lee. But, uh, I had everything, yes, you, I'll be honest, everything. And uh, one day I got introduced to the D Star and they said to me, buy a 7100. So I did. And uh, for some reason, oh, why, I thought the 9100 was sold the 7100. Anyway, I ended up putting the 9100 back in a box, put it on top of the wardrobe, and I went back and got another 7100. And I got the 50. I've had the 92D and now I've got the 51 um, handheld, which is a brilliant radio. It's got so many things on it. You can just uh, put the GPS on it, it'll tell you what all the repeaters are around you. And you just uh, press the button, it goes straight to it. And the 5100, the new one that's coming out, well, we'll have two of them as soon as they come over. <laughs> Yep, you sound like me. Um, I, I think Dave put a link on um, a couple of weeks ago for a, a day start. Um, I think it was reduced in price. I don't know if you can uh, rest my brains on that, could you, Dave, mate? Oh, I'm 68 for returning. Um, I can't remember now which one it was, Lee. Um, sorry, I was just testing there. Yeah, right, I'm actually it is showing the distances on this radio now. Uh, I'll just press stop on that.